Thanks be to God that you who once were slaves of sin, that's where we start. You don't start here, you start here. Once you were slaves of sin, thanks be to God that though you were slaves of him, you have become obedient from the heart, having been set free from sin and having become slaves of righteousness. There are only two kinds of people in the world biblically, slaves of sin and slaves of righteousness. So what is freedom? Freedom is being so in love with Christ that you do exactly what you want to do and it accords with his will. S freedom is doing what you want to do and not regretting it in a thousand years. Freedom is seeing and savoring the supremacy of Christ so intensely that you are his totally. That's freedom. The more satisfied you are in Jesus, the more free you are. The more you see him, the more free you are. The more you savor him, the more free you are. The more you trust him, the more free you are. Freedom is not suspension between good and evil containing within your sovereign self the wherewithal to be this or to be this. That is not freedom and nobody lives there. Freedom is to be so mastered by God that we become rational suddenly. We become free to know him, love him, delight in him, be satisfied in him. That's freedom. There is a struggle. I love this. Augustine said, The struggle between choices, the struggle of choice, good, good or evil, is a necessary temporary evil until the day dawns when discernment and delight become one. That's the reason I want the second coming yesterday. Dying would do the same thing. And that's God's business, both of them. But what will happen when you die if you're a Christian is no longer will you have to ever struggle. Do you realize there will be no struggle in heaven to obey? <laughs> Nobody in heaven will be poised here or here or here or here. We will be all the way slaves of righteousness and the freest people in the universe because we will be doing exactly what we love to do and it will happen to be God's will. This is freedom.